Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut. And unexpectedly today, we have One UI Beta, uh, mm, sorry, One UI 6 Beta 2. And we thought we were gonna get it last night, US time. And then there were rumors that it was getting delayed till September 4th. And then I woke up and it was out this morning. So Samsung's kind of crazy on these uh, on these extra releases. Um, and when they're coming out, it's very inconsistent and they keep delaying a lot of them. Um, but here we are with beta two. I'm gonna show you some of the, uh, show you guys some of the changes, some of the fixes, and just overall what is new. So first off, let's hop into settings here. Uh, and I'll actually show you this first feature in settings before we get to uh, looking at the other stuff. So, so far this is only working in settings. I haven't gotten it working in any other apps or third party apps or anything like that. And that is the Android 14 back projective uh, gesture. Um, so when you swipe back here and hold it, you can see that you get to see the page that it is going to go back to when you swipe back and then you can release and go back to that page. For whatever reason, that is only working in certain subcategories of the settings app here. Like I said, it's not working in any third party apps right now. I'm not too sure why that is. Um, you do have to have that setting enabled in developer settings as well for that to work. So. Just a feature that is coming, it looks like. It looks like Samsung is going to support that, but of course, it's not fully baked in yet here in beta two. So hopefully the next beta and when uh, Android 14 actually releases to the public, we'll see a lot of those third-party apps start getting updated for it and uh, released. So we're just gonna go over here to some of the release notes. Um, so we do have some new features in the Samsung Health app, um, such as uh, new home screen, uh, custom water cup sizes, stuff like that. Just a few new features and a look on the Samsung Health app. Um, sorry if my phone's moving a lot, my camera's off to the side, um, so I'm kind of holding it across the table here. Uh, we have a uh, new camera feature, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, a new app called Studio, which is a video editor that is now built into One UI 6. Um, so you can do video editing and stuff right on your phone, which for somebody with an S23 Ultra and that S Pen, you know, plenty of power with that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, that's gonna be pretty nice. Um, plenty of RAM on this phone for something like that. Uh, Samsung Pass has some new updates. Um, quick Panel has some new updates to notifications. So here is, of course, our new Quick Panel right here. I think the swipe down gesture is a little bit better now. You don't have to kind of pull it down as far, it seems. You can kind of just do a quick little flick and it comes all the way down. Same with your notifications, just a quick little flick and it comes down. Um, so that is what the new notifications look like right here. They are now separated out into categories um, by app and they have the apps icon right here on the left hand side so you can tell what app you have a notification from. Very nice, I do prefer that over the old style. Uh, some new calendar updates. Uh, home screen updates with the drag and drop with two hands. Uh, my files, the trash is now integrated with the gallery. So the trash in my files now has all your gallery stuff in there. So you can delete everything from one place. And then we have some bugs that have been fixed down here with the uh, shortcuts uh, and different stuff. You guys can read those right there. If you want, just pause and read that. Um, so those are all the fixed bugs and then some remaining known issues here. Um, that have not yet been fixed in beta two. So that is the up the software update right there. Um, so we'll go ahead and pop over to the camera right here. And if we go to settings, um, well first let me show you, I think it is still on, it is still on. So as you can see there, the back gesture did not do anything. It just went back and didn't do the predictive anything. Uh, so if you swipe, you can switch between the front and the back camera right there. They have now added a setting under selfies right here. So you can disable the swipe up and down to switch cameras option. So if you if you accidentally swipe and flip your camera around, uh, you can now disable that if you so choose. Um, other than that, not too many actual additions or changes. Um, animations seem to be running a lot smoother over my live stream. I did change the animation scale and show everybody there uh, how the animations were doing, but they're doing very well. Um, not having any issues or anything like that with anything. All the apps are opening and closing very quickly, very smoothly, and there seems to be less lag and stuttering, stuff like that like there was in beta one. So they did definitely refine that in beta two, and hopefully that keeps happening throughout the beta process into the original, or sorry, the public release, um, and we get a smooth release, um, would be very nice. But everything's running very well so far. Um, I just installed this about an hour ago, so I don't have anything to report on battery life yet. Um, but of course, I will do a follow-up update after I've used this for a little while, and we'll go over the full performance and battery life in that video. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. And uh, this is, like I said, one UI one UI 6 beta 2 on the S23 Ultra, and I'm calling the tech out over to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.